How's it going everybody? Jason from Tombstone Trading Company. Today we're going to do something new. Let's do an unboxing video. Well look what we have here. A Ruger PC Carbine in 9mm. Let's take you through this box. Let's open it up together, see what's inside, what it comes with, and check out this really cool in-demand rifle. All right, let's go through this thing. So again, this is the Ruger PC carbine, nine millimeter carbine. Let's open this box and see what's inside. Careful here so we don't rip the box. Take these tabs open. All right. And the second part here. All right, so uh, there we go. So as usual, what you would expect, you've got your instruction manual, Got a little insert for how to replace the magazine well. I think we'll take you through that as well, or at least the instructions on how to do that. Your NRA card, Ruger registration, paperwork. Uh, so standard fare here, pretty much everything you would expect to come with a new firearm. Okay, so let's take some of the shipping material away. It's something to protect the bolt. Let's go through, let's go through the stuff over here on the side first. So as uh, again, as you would expect, the Ruger lock. Uh, more packing information, packing shipping uh, spacers. We have our magazine well adapter. This is so that this rifle can be converted to take Glock magazines. So it's set up the way it comes to take Ruger magazines. But with this adapter here, you can convert that to take Glock magazines. Okay, that's pretty neat. Speaking of magazines, we have a Ruger 10-round magazine. Again, this being Massachusetts, we're limited to 10 rounds. So this takes a Ruger uh, SR or a Ruger American uh, magazine, 10 round magazine. And then we have some small Allen wrenches. I assume these are for changing the magazine well. Again, as we get deeper into this unboxing, I'm sure we'll figure that out. But you get three Allen wrenches that come with the rifle. Put those over here on the side. Then some spacers, some buttstock spacers, so you can adjust the length of pull on this rifle. Okay, so you get two of those. That leaves us to the rifle itself. Let's pull this thing out. Okay, we'll put this down. We'll get rid of this box. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and unwrap our rifle. And there she is. Okay, so remove our chamber flag here so we know that we have an empty chamber. And this is it. This is our Ruger PC carbine, 9mm carbine, a synthetic stock, black rifle. Uh, let's go through and take a look at some of the features of it. All right, one of the first features that's pretty neat about this, I'm not sure if uh, you even knew this, I didn't until we got our first one in, is that it is a takedown model. So let's lock our bolt to the rear, lock our bolt to the rear. Locks much like a 1022 does. It's got the little bolt lock or bolt stop down at the bottom and just in front of the trigger guard. And then, much like a Ruger 1022 carbine, you can pull up on the little catch here, rotate that barrel a little bit, and then the whole thing just comes apart. That's all there is to that. You want to put it back together, you just reverse that process, snap it back together, and you have an assembled rifle in its complete state again. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's take a look at some other features here. We have a set of peep sights on the back of this rifle. So you have a ghost ring or peep sight on the rear, standard front sight as you would expect on most rifles. Uh, reminds me a lot of their Mini 14 style front sight. So again, we got a peep sight on the rear and then that standard front sight. We've got a Picatinny rail that goes across the top of the receiver here. So you can put your optics there, whether it be a red dot or a scope. It does appear that the charging handle is ambidextrous, that you can switch it from either side. It comes installed on the right side of the rifle, but if you wanted to switch that over to the left side, you could do that. As I'm handling the rifle here, uh, I'm pretty impressed with the stippling along the side. There's some really good texture here. Get you a, a nice firm grip on that rifle. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty nice. I do like that. Magazine release is on this side of the rifle. Okay, to eject your magazine. Let's go ahead and put our mag in there. Okay. Someone mentioned on one of our Facebook posts that it looks a little short. It does, but again, we're stuck in Massachusetts here. It is what it is. But this, again, does take Glock magazines. So if you were able to get your hand on some pre-band 32-round Glock mags, you could put that in there. 
or even pre-ban uh, Glock 19 or Glock 17 magazines. You could put those uh, magazines right here. So we'll just eject that magazine. Our safety is in the standard location you would expect as well, much like a 1022 right on the front of the trigger guard. Let's see what else we got going on here. All right, so I'm thinking for the next part of this, why don't we take this rifle apart so I can show you up close a couple of the additional features here. Uh, as we see here, there's a uh, nice substantial locking lug. Uh, when you put this gun together, it really engages it. It has a a uh, little adjustment here, much again like the Ruger 1022 takedowns have, so you can adjust the fit of the barrel to the receiver. Again, here's a close-up view of that stippling, really nice and aggressive there, I like that. Uh, the barrel is also fluted to keep the weight down. And underneath, we also have a small section of Picatinny, so if you wanted to put a light or a laser or some sort of adapter or anything really there uh, that fits a standard Picatinny, you got a little section for that as well. And a sling swivel. All right, let's do the same thing, a close-up of the receiver. So we have our charging handle, again, uh, set up on the right-hand side of this, but it is convertible, and you could switch it over to the left if you wanted to do that. Uh, you can also switch the magazine catch from the, right, uh, from the left side over to the right side, so that's ambidextrous as well. I did read in the little insert that came with the rifle that if you are using single-notch older Glock magazines, that the magazine button does need to remain on the left hand side. It will not work with single notch Glock magazines if you put it onto the right hand side of the rifle. So that's a good piece of information to know. Again, here's the underneath, as I was mentioning, a bolt stop, a bolt release much like a 1022. I do uh, realize here, I did notice rather, that the uh, bolt works a little bit better than the 1022. For those of you that have 1022s, you know, you kind of have to wiggle this and finagle it a little bit to release the bolt on the carbine here. Once you've locked that to the rear, all you have to do is pull on it and it releases that bolt catch automatically. That's pretty cool. That's definitely an upgrade over your standard 1022 style. We had pointed out that it came with a couple spacers, uh, length of pull adjustments uh, in the box. It does have one already installed on the rifle so you can change that length of pull, make it a little bit longer if you have long arms. Or I would assume maybe even take this one out and make it a little shorter if you have a shorter length of pull. All right, let's see if we can figure out how to get that magazine adapter in there. Stand by. All right, let's go through changing the magazine well out on this rifle. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is make sure the firearm is unloaded. We have the gun apart at this point, so we're pretty confident that's unloaded. I can stick my hand right through the... Uh, where the chamber would be on that rifle. And we have to uh, lower the bolt or release the bolt. So again, on this rifle, all I have to do is pull back and that bolt then comes forward. The next thing we're gonna do is loosen the two screws that are on the bottom of the rifle, right here and right here. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Now these are captive screws, so they loosen, but you do not remove them, okay? So you're just gonna loosen them up. You'll be able to basically feel when they've come out of these uh, receiver, there'll be a little bit of a wiggle to them. Okay. And then we remove the receiver from the stock. Okay, so I'm just going to push up on that. That allows me to pull out my receiver. Be careful, just like uh, other Ruger rifles, some of these pins can drop out. That one came from this hole right here. I just simply push that right back in. That holds your trigger group in. It will be interesting to see if they come out with a trigger group similar to the BX25 trigger group they have for the 1022. Uh, something tells me that uh, Ruger is going to be doing that. That's just, again, my, my suggestion or my uh, intuition, but uh, it's also a suggestion, Ruger. I would uh, take some time maybe to, to come up with something like that. You heard it here first. All right, let's put that off to the side. Now, to swap out our magazine, well, it's pretty simple. All we really need to do, I'm going to be pushing on the magazine release right here. I push in on that magazine release, and I pull up, and I pull out the existing magazine adapter. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that right there, but that does say SR9. Let's see if we can get that into, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to see it, but it does say SR9 on this, so you know that this is the magazine adapter for SR Ruger magazine, Ruger SR9 magazines. Okay, so let's grab our Glock magazine. And this has a, a stamping on it. it says G9, must mean Glock 9mm, I would assume. Okay. 
So G9. And all I need to do, again, is drop that back into the well. I'm pushing on that magazine release with my thumb. And we are done. That rifle is now converted to accept clock magazines. All I would do is take my receiver. I'm going to put that back into the stock. Drop that in place. Then I'm going to tighten these bolts down. These screws, I should say. Now, in the manual, it does say that you should tighten these screws to 65 inch pounds. 65 inch pounds. So I do have a torque wrench that will do that, and I will torque that to proper specifications um, before I completely. I'm going to reassemble this rifle back to take the standard Ruger magazines. That's how we're going to sell it. So it'll come with both adapters, of course, but we're going to sell it with the Ruger Magazine well adapter in place. But that would be it. I would then go ahead and re reassemble my rifle, and I could shoot Glock magazines. How cool is that? Actually, that went so easy, so smooth. I think we're going to go ahead and swap that magazine well back out for the Ruger Magazine and show you what that's all about. Again, just so you get another chance to look at it, I'm going to go ahead and loosen those two screws. Lift up my stock. That's going to leave my receiver right on the bench. Again, just move that out of the way for the moment. I'm going to push down on my magazine release. And that allows me to pull that magwell adapter right out of the rifle. I'll take the original Ruger magazine adapter. And I'm going to drop that right back in place. Again, just a little push on the magazine release on the side. Gets everything out of the way so that I can then go ahead and reinstall that factory magazine well adapter right in place really couldn't be simpler that what a great design what a great design that is and again if I wanted to switch that magazine release to the right hand side of the rifle if I was a left-handed shooter I can do that again keeping in mind the caveat that was outlined in the manual that if you're using single-sided a single notch Glock magazines older magazines uh, which if you're using pre band magazines in Massachusetts many of them will be single notch magazines uh, you may have to leave that magazine release on the left hand side of the rifle. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our stock and receiver back together again. So I'm just going to flip this over, drop that stock right on top there, tighten my two screws. Okay. And I am going to torque these down to the proper specifications. Again, in the manual, it states 65 inch pounds. So let me grab my torque wrench to do that. This, this is a pretty neat uh, torque wrench. So again, I can set this to 65 inch pounds. I'm going to back that down. So once you get your wrench properly set to 65 inch pounds, again, this is inch pounds, guys, not foot pounds. So if you're using the wrench from your car, uh, those are set up for foot pounds. This is 65 inch pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that. We hear a click. So now we know that that's properly tightened. We'll go ahead and tighten our rear screw in 65 inch pounds. And we click there. So that's it. 65 inch pounds front and rear. Those are pretty tight for uh, what you would expect. So make sure that you have the proper tools for that if you're going to take that rifle apart. Um, they are a little bit tighter than hand tight. So I would imagine with the increased recoil that this rifle being a 9mm has, that those need to be good and snug. Okay, 65 inch pounds. So let's go ahead and put this rifle back together and cover some final thoughts. So let me grab the barrel assembly. Okay, you have to lock your bolt to the rear to put the rifle back together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Again, just carefully insert my barrel assembly into the receiver, twist it, locks into place, and now we're all set. There we go. Magazine well switched, rifle put back together. We'd be ready to go shoot. Well, there you go, folks, our first unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. We took you through the Ruger PC carbine, showed you some of its features, took it apart, changed out the mag wells, and I think Ruger really hit it out of the park with this rifle. It's going to be very popular. It already is very popular. Uh, for being a new rifle. Our challenge here will always be, as it is with new products, is availability. We're getting them in as fast as we can get them from our distributors. 
but being in such high demand, it's going to be difficult for us to get them uh, consistently at the beginning. And as most things will do, I'm sure it'll level out and they'll be available uh, much more readily. So if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up on Facebook. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more. Maybe tell, you want, tell me what you want to see next. If you're over on our YouTube channel and you really like it, consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below again on what videos you'd like to see next. Thanks a lot, folks. See you soon.